It was on the 1st of March, 1980, at IBM's Thomas J. Watson Research Center in upstate New York that Benoit Mandelbot first glimpsed the MSET. The seeds of this discovery were, in fact, sown decades before the MSET was first seen. In Paris, in 1917, a mathematician called Gaston Julia published papers connected with so-called complex numbers. The results of his endeavors eventually became known as Julia sets, although Julia himself never saw a Julia set. He could only guess at them, and it wouldn't be until the advent of modern computers that Julia sets could be seen for the first time. For me, the first step, almost, in a difficult mathematical, mathematical problem was to program it and see how it, how it looked like. We started programming Julia sets of all kinds. It was extraordinarily great fun. And in particular, at one point, we became interested in Julia set of the simplest possible transformation. Z goes to Z squared plus C. So Z times Z plus C. I made many, many pictures of it. First of all, the first one was very rough. But the very rough picture, that was not the answer. Each rough picture asked a question, so I made another picture, another picture, another picture. And then observations came up. For example, uh, initially we had this uh, Julia set as a big black blob, like people called it a bug. And, um, and then when the bug became more more precisely uh, drawn, there was all kinds of junk around it. Now, the junk might have been anything. For example, part of the junk was just a very poor computer system we had. In fact, it was a, a miserable system. So what we did was to um, act like a naturalist, like somebody 18th century uh, botanist or, um, or zoologist. You take a microscope and look closer uh, to see what happens. So we looked at some, at some of these um, little pieces of junk by magnifying the, the Mandelbrot set, and they vanished because they were just uh, junk. And others did not vanish. So, um, as we did it, uh, something quite extraordinary came up, which is that if you magnify a small piece of the Mandelbrot set, that piece looks like Julia set itself. So the whole Julia set has a kind of say, miniature uh, version of itself in the Mandelbrot set. And after a few weeks, we had this uh, very strong, overwhelming impression that this was uh, a kind of big bear we have encountered. Yeah.